Hey guys, how you doing? This is Brad Travesy from Tech Guy Web Solutions, and this is just a tutorial um, so I can explain to you how to add, e after you purchase a hosting account from us, how to add email accounts to your to your domain, to your website. Um, if you switch hosting providers, if you switch to us from another provider, you can't check your email through them um, because your site isn't pointed to them anymore. So you'll have to uh, log into cPanel to set up an account. And you sh when you sign up for, for a hosting account with us, you should have got an email called Hosting Account Details, which will have your cPanel password, um, the name servers, or everything you need to know about your hosting account. And make sure you keep that email somewhere safe. Print it out. Keep it somewhere safe so you have it. Um, but yeah, you log into cPanel. Uh, this is cPanel right here. You should see something like this. And um, under mail, click email accounts. And here you'll see a little box where you can enter some info. Um, you pick your domain name. Uh, you probably only have one. I have a bunch here. But pick your main domain where you want to set the email up. And just type in whatever you want the name to be. Uh, let's say test user. So this will be test user at techguywebsolutions.com. Of course, your domain will be different. Um, and type in a password. You can generate a password if you want, but chances are you won't do that. Uh, mailbox quota. You can set the quota uh, of how much space um, this this particular email address can hold in the account. The default's 250 megabytes, which is pretty big, and chances are you won't need anything bigger than that. Um, if anything, you make it smaller. Um, and click create account. Uh, and that's it. That's all you do to set the email account up. So we should see it down here. Here it is right here. Test user at techguywebsolutions.com. Uh, now, I want to go through uh, checking your email. To check your email in cPanel, it's the same thing. Let's just start over here. You click on email accounts. And you'll see the the account you just created click on more and then access webmail and you'll see this it gives you an area to put your password in type in your password log in now that you'll see this screen what this screen is it, whoops what this screen is is just uh, it gives you three different options for three different um, mail clients which is just the software you use to check it uh, you can pick anyone you want. I, I usually use Squirrel Mail. Um, it's just your inbox, trash, um, sent mail, all that stuff. Uh, so that's how you check it in cPanel. If you don't want to log into cPanel every time you check your email, you, what you can do is go to your, your site. So my site is www.techguywebsolutions.com slash webmail. So it will be your site slash webmail. Now you'll get a username and password. Um, for your username, you have to type your username, which ours was test user, and you have to put at your whatever your website is. Mine's Tech Guy Web Solutions. Make sure you do that because it won't it won't work if you don't add the at your site uh, password. Oh, what happened? There we go. I must have typed something wrong. So, and it'll take you to that same screen we were just at where you pick a email client. And that's it. That's how you log in. Um, you can, if you use, um, Microsoft Outlook or something like that, uh, some kind of third-party email client, you can use that. Uh, you'll have to go into that program and you have to find where you have to enter your your POP email info. Uh, you can find that by clicking email accounts. Find the account that you want to use in Outlook or whatever. You can even Gmail has the same options. Um, go to more and then configure email client 
and here you'll see all your uh, your, your mail server name your ports anything that you you need to type into Outlook or whatever client you're using um, so this info just type it in there and you should be able to log in and check your email and do everything from there um, if you don't, if you prefer not to log into cPanel every time um, so that should be it uh, if you have any other questions you can email support at techguywebsolutions.com and I'll be happy to answer any other questions you have about email um, so that's it thank you